Hey guys, Chris here, showing you how to do MVC within PHP uh, using custom auto loading as a starter, right? So, I'm just going to show you how to do custom auto loading uh, without any other packages. Uh, if you're here for the composer auto loading, skip ahead in this video about five minutes, you'll get to the composer stuff. Showing you two different ways uh, to implement auto loading, which uh, every lightweight or large MVC framework should have natively. Uh, what auto loading allows you to do, you know, it auto loads your classes for you. It, it auto loads them based on a definition that you create. So uh, we'll get into that right uh, a little later. Right now this is our constants PHP file. This is where we're uh, describing all of the different paths that our auto load function should look in before uh, throwing an error if it cannot find a particular class that our application is trying to load. So as you see at the top I've created a short cut for directory and the directory separator. It's just so much easier to type DS than you know DIR and then autocomplete. So anyways, um, okay so here's our controllers uh, path defining this and next is models and I'm sure you can guess what the last one is right and after this uh, not sure which version of PHP you guys are using uh, but we're gonna create a auto load classes constant and uh, this is gonna have an array of all of our previously uh, defined paths so classes controllers models and views is gonna live here um, I'm serializing this array because uh, I believe you need at least PHP 5.5 to be able to define a constant as an array you know, or assign an array to a constant right so we're serializing it and just to test to make sure that this is gonna work I'm doing a for each and notice I unserialize it within the for each and I'm just spitting back that path to us and it obviously it works here so that's good to go if you're using a newer or the most recent version of PHP just go ahead and uh, ignore the serialization and pass the array directly to the constant so here's our loader PHP file this is where I define our custom loading loading function You'll notice the argument is class. So when PHP cannot find a particular class, it, you know, just as long as you've uh, utilized SPL autoload register, it will use the function you define in SPL autoload register and try to load that class given the logic you, uh, you define here. So here what I'm telling it to do is, what I'm telling PHP to do is look in our root path first. So let's say it's a class that a file that I threw in our root directory path uh, it's gonna check if the file exists and then it's gonna load it if it does if not uh, it's gonna iterate over our auto load classes um, constant uh, and then it's gonna check whether that file exists and if it does it's gonna go ahead and load it so here I'm just gonna call it a class file and of course appending the .php so so if file exists uh, we're gonna do a require once on class file if it does notice I mistakenly typed class in that if file exists so we're gonna go back in a second here and fix that I'm gonna just kinda walking you through you know what happens when it cannot find so of course I forgot SPL auto load register so without this PHP is not gonna look for your loader class right so again I try running it uh, let's correct that last error I have in my loader file which is um, using class instead of class underscore file so if file exists class underscore file then load that and now as you can see it loads the class let's go to our test class and you can see in the constructor all I've told it to do is echo hello back to us okay so this version of auto loading auto loading works and if you're using uh, PHP storm make sure you initialize composer 
um, just like I've done a, a second ago. Uh, initialize composer. Uh, I mistakenly mistakenly have put the composer.json file in our classes directory. Um, but before we correct that, uh, for for those of you uh, that aren't familiar with PHP Storm's command line tool support, uh, go ahead and enable that. Of course, if you're going to be using Composer to do your auto loading, you should have Composer already installed. Uh, I'm just navigating over to my uh, composer.far file and uh, letting PHP Storm know that let's use the C alias to run commands uh, with Composer. Instead of typing out Composer, I'm just going to use the character C. I'm going to do a C update just to make sure that we have everything established with Composer. I have to move my composer JSON from classes to our main uh, application, uh, not in our app path, but in the root of that. Uh, okay, I'll be doing a C update here soon uh, after I initialize in this parent directory. Okay, our composer JSON file is there. I initialize composer. Okay, good. And I guess PHP Storm just wanted to do a verification, and yes, it's initialized. Um, here now, I'm just going to do a C update, make sure everything's good. Now, in our composer JSON file, this is where we're going to go ahead and uh, define our application paths. Um, oh, yeah, in index.php, you'll notice. I'm still requiring the old loader.php and constants.php, so let me comment those out. Okay, comment that out, and now I want to just put this call to my test class underneath width to stay in you know, structure here. Uh, and now I'm going to do a require once on composers. Uh, auto load PHP. This is why doing things with Composer is so much more easy, um, but it was good to at least show you how to do uh, auto loading without Composer and other tools because it, it allows you to understand better what how auto loading actually works. So here's the vendor auto load PHP. Now Composer kind of takes the headache away from you know, writing our own custom autoload function and all that good stuff. Plus, we don't have to take an extra step for namespacing. So, this is why Composer rules. Um, I could show you a custom uh, class that could do namespacing for us, but let's let's not go that far into custom autoloading. Okay, so as you can see, I need to add a new directive to our Composer JSON. I started with autoload, and then it has. Uh, child node called PSR4 um, and as you can see app backslash backslash so this is going to be our root uh, namespace for our application and um, the only other uh, directory I'm going to pass to it is the classes and notice uh, I have to end um, our namespace with a backslash backslash so I have to escape that backslash and now um, I'm gonna do a C update which uh, composer will automatically generate the mappings uh, for our structure here okay so test isn't found remember namespacing so app backslash test I'm sorry app backslash classes should be um, our namespace. Okay, it's going to have to be a capital A there, so that's not going to work. Let's uh, let's go back to test.php, and it will be a capital A in app, and that looks like it's going to work. Um, what else are we not doing here? Oh, here we still have to call this uh, by its root or I'm sorry fully qualified uh, namespace uh, 
what you traditionally do in classes though is you'll utilize the use keyword so let's do that let's let's call this the way we would if as if we were doing it inside of a class file and that way I can just do a new test and as you can see it works hey guys please continue watching to see the rest of the MVC series videos thanks